But every day that goes by in West Virginia, we produce cleaner and cleaner coal. And every day that goes by, we are producing more and more clean natural gas. And we cannot afford this level attack of attack on us. I mean, it's an absolute attack on our state. It's an attack on West Virginia families. It's, attack, it's an attack on, on virtually our, our livelihoods here. And it probably impacts, it probably impacts north of 100,000 people collectively here within the state. We are producing more than we've ever produced, and we are doing it much cleaner than we've ever done before. And we continue to make improvements. Drilling technology has changed, air emission technology has changed, it'll all get better. We're all for the renewables. Every one of us are for the renewables. And every day that the renewables grow and everything, more power to us. Everybody's for that. We're for the gas and we're for the coal. But we're for the sense. We're for the good sense. And we're for defending West Virginia. You know, that's what we're for. We're for defending West Virginia. And we're for good logic and good sense. Now, there may be a day, we don't, ever, we don't think it's going to ever happen in our lifetimes. There may be a day in this country when truly renewables can rule the day. But for God's sake to live, and we don't want America, and we don't want West Virginia to crumble to our knees because of some bubble boy's idea.